thanks for coming back for a new video. If you're a new watcher, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, today, I am going to be doing a, another large canvas, a 24 by 30, and I'm working on playing with the Australian Floatrol and Titanium White Swipes. Um, I'm also using Oxide Black, so, but I'm having a lot of fun doing like flip cups, dragging them out, and then swiping through them, and then tilting. So I'm hoping today to get some negative space on this. Also trying to create a, um, I don't know, kind of maybe like waves going through. The colors are gonna be really, really cool to create this in my head. I'm hoping I can get it translated to the canvas. So let's get down on the canvas and let's start painting. I'll be right back. All right, everyone. So <laughs> I've got a 24 by 30 gallery wrap canvas, taped and push pinned on the back. And I want to play with another large painting, leaving negative space. And instead of doing like an open cup pour, what I'm gonna do is like kind of like a dirty cup pour and um, I will stretch it out. I might even use some Australian Foetrol to kind of like um, uh, swipe through it, create a little bit of cells and things like that. So real quick, we'll talk about these colors. I've got my Oxide Black from Amsterdam. I've got two colors here that I've combined. I'm using the turquoise blue from Liquitex Basics and the dazzling metallics from DecoArt and the ice blue that created this really beautiful metallic -y, brilliant blue color. Then I'm using two colors that I also combined, which was the olive green and the yellowish green to create this really vibrant I probably could have used like reflex green from Amsterdam, but I wanted to give it that uh, olive color, but also giving it a little brightness. And then this is a table scraps in a grayish color. And that has um, been strained to make sure all the lumps and stuff are out. And then my base coat is going to be titanium white. And that I made a giant, two quart batch huge <laughs> all right so what i'm going to do is i will flood the canvas with the white and then i'm going to do two cups and i'm going to probably just do them from this end and come this way and then i will tilt them out all my paints were just mixed up well the white was just mixed up so it's going to have so many air bubbles See if I can do this without making a mess. Too much of a mess, I should say. What I'm gonna do is throw in some black first. We'll do, let's do, 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 do. What do I wanna do, do, do? Let's put a lot of blue. A lot of green. of white. OK, 
Okay, put the first one right here. One, two, three. Now this cup is suctioned here. I'm not gonna release it with a pin or anything. I'm just gonna lift up just a little bit to let a little bit out. Just gonna let it glide across the canvas. Just releasing as I glide here. Put the other one pretty close here. One, two, three. Cups were really, really full, so. These are gonna continue to sell up. Do the same thing, kind of lift. I think what I'm gonna do is I am gonna do a little Australian Floetrol and Titanium White and kind of float through there. I think this one I'm gonna use black and this one I'm gonna use white. All right, I'm gonna start here. Lightly press, come on through. Same thing in white with the other pour. Start here, lightly press. I'm just doodling. All right, let's anchor this down this way first. Baby, can we kill this butterfly? Always 
this takes too long yeah too long i ain't got all weekend we had a good run yeah a good run but the clock is ticking i gotta move on yeah move on i got things to do all without you The city lights will that remain. Oh, I hate Ooh. That's really nice. But I know it ain't too long before we I wait for you. No, I wait for you. Nothing can break us through. I wait for you. Counting every hour, every second makes it easier to. I feel peace, I remember it all And all it takes is faith Oh, I hate saying goodbye So I've definitely got more paint on here than I needed and I'm hoping I got enough of it off. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna clean up the edges where the negative space is on the corners, the sides, make sure there's no dark color coming through. I see some areas where I touched. That's okay though. My heartbeat is racing, everything's changing. When I'm with you, I see all the clues. Feels like I'm fainting, much like a painting. No colors of blue. Okay guys, here we are with the wet result. I am absolutely in love with this piece um i don't know quite sure which direction i want to hang this if i want to leave it like this or turn it vertical um it's i'll show you both ways but first i'm going to bring you in here and show you the close-ups the cells the lacing this color combination fantastic
see this when it's dry. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so here is the dried result. Dried beautiful. I'm loving the composition. Let me bring you in here up close. All right, you guys, that's for do it for today's video. I am really happy with this piece. Um, the only thing I'm not sure about is how to hang it. Do I want to hang it this way? Or do I want to hang it this way? You guys let me know how you think about it in the comments, but I really, really love this color combination. It just is beautiful together. Um, using the black and the white cell activator for swiping really created some contrast. So I'm loving the white negative space. Really, really cool. I'm overall very, very happy with this. I definitely want to put um, some Liquitex gloss varnish on this because I think that's really going to make the colors pop. All right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.